And today I'd like to show you a couple examples of random answer generators that I have for my classroom. Uh, when we're taking a look at the idea of entropy and energy flowing through a system, uh, I like to bring these out and let the students try them for themselves. They're examples of how small changes in the initial starting condition can often give us random or even chaotic results. Uh, it's a little bit more fun than flipping a coin or throwing some dice. And in this case, some of the challenge may be that the students may be able to alter a little bit just where the end results are. So let's take a closer look. The first device is simply a track that's divided into four segments, A, B, C, or D. To get an answer, all you have to do is take the ball, lift it up, release it on the side. It's going to roll down. Here's our first position. Then there's a small hill. Second position, another small hill. Third position, small hill. Fourth position, then it climbs up the other side again and a ball will simply roll back and forth from one side to the other until it loses enough energy from friction to come to a rest in one of those spots. All right, so let's give it a try. I lift the ball up and I release it. And as you can see, it's simply rolling back and forth from one side to the other. It's losing speed and eventually it will stop at one of the four areas. In this case, it stopped in area A. Now let's try it again. And this time it stopped in area B. This track is pretty much the same idea as the first one we saw. The words are a little bit different. In this case it's for making decisions. Uh, for example it says I'd say yes, it's possible, chances are very slim, and then no ways. And once again, we'd simply put a ball and release it, let it roll back and forth a few times so it loses energy to friction, and then eventually it's going to come to rest in one of those spots. It's kind of like the magic eight ball, only in this case, they have a little bit more control over where the ball ends up. And this says, chances are very slim. Now here's the last device. If we ask my bar pendulum a question, you see it says either yes or no. We put the bar on and release it. And in that case, the answer is no. If I try and release it again, ask it another question. Yes. Ask it another question and release it. This is actually a magnetic bar pendulum. And the reason it's doing this is that if we open up the bottom, we'll see two magnets in the bottom here. And in the bottom of this bar, there's a magnet. And so as it swings back and forth, eventually it stops on one of the magnets. It's an attractive it's attracted to both of them, but depending on how it swings, will determine where it ends up. So my students like to ask it all sorts of questions. So let's ask it one ourselves. Do you always give the right answer? 